Many times when I'm talking about golf with my buddies or someone I'm trying to help, I try to explain to them what it feels like to stay behind the ball when you're hitting a driver. So I have this rope here and it's tied to something heavy and it's a good way of feeling sort of what I try to do when I drive a ball and that's stay behind the ball. And when I show them how far I stay behind the ball, they always say, well, you gotta get your weight over to the left side. You gotta get over there. Well, a good illustration of how to, uh, to do that with rotation is as your body rotates open, keep tension on the rope all the time. Go back to a small backswing, get a lot of tension on your rope and swing back. And then you'll see how you have a lot of energy coming back as the club is passing. And you'll see, even though I'm staying far behind the ball, I, could, I can actually lift my back foot up. And where's all my weight? It's driving onto that front leg. So this is really staying behind the ball. Now, you don't want to stay so far back that you fall back and your front foot kind of spins up because there's no weight on it. But if you could just feel that for an instant as you're coming down into the ball, you could pull back and actually get your back foot up. Boom. You, you're leaning back. You're not falling behind. Your weight's still getting over, but in a powerful way through rotation. So if you wanted to do a drill with the lag rag to create that same feel, that's what I do at home a lot because staying behind the ball is very important. That's all I really focus on when I'm hitting the driver well. Again, you swing, try to swing out in front of you. This is going to create that same position. So all the best golfers in the world their arms aren't straight with the shaft at the ball. That doesn't happen until well past the ball, especially with the driver. So that's the position we're trying to look for. Now, my back heel is coming up. That's because all my weight is, is going onto my front leg through rotation. If you slide ahead a little bit, you're not going to get that same effect, the same whip effect of the club. So just try and do some drills where you stay behind the ball. Make, and try not to let your head move. Like even right now, I can see the shadow of my head. And when you're doing lag rag training, it's easy to do that. So just free up a little bit, watch the shadow of your head. Try not to let it move. But the most important thing is once you come out, come all the way out. Don't get stuck at the ball, especially when doing lag rag training. Do not over focus on the ground or the ball. Swing to a big foul. Stay behind the ball. If you do that continuously for 20 times, it becomes easier and easier to feel. There's less and less emphasis on the ball. You look at the ball on the way back, as you're coming into it, let everything come out. Your head's got to watch it anyway, so don't keep looking at the ball.